Hi, Spiders. I'm excited to be here today with a very familiar face. Originally from Richmond, Virginia, Xavier Goodall signed with the University of Richmond as a part of the football team. And while at Richmond, he was a sociology major and also graduated in May of 2020. After that, he went on to do some pretty great things, and Xavier currently serves as a firefighter for Chesterfield County and is also, also a realtor with Exit First. Xavier, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me, Jay. Absolutely. So let's jump right into questions. I knew you grew up in Richmond. Uh, what is it that specifically drew you to Richmond and to stay home? Honestly, me growing up in Richmond for all my life, uh, we heard stories about the University of Richmond, but I never once knew where it was at. So I never really been to the campus until I actually went on my first visit. So therefore, it was also like I was out of state, but at the same time I was in state because growing up where I was from, that we don't really talk about it. Either. We talk about it, but we never really been there. Yeah, absolutely. And as you were going through your recruiting process, you know, what was it about the team or coaching staff that, you know, really drew you in to come here? Honestly, it was the brotherhood, truthfully, because as soon as I first got there, I uh, tried to make an impact. And I had guys ahead of me like uh, Jerry Jordan, uh, Dale Matthews and Jamar Bevels who like helped me out on the whole process there. So it was a smooth transition. Absolutely. That's awesome to hear. And, you know, I know you probably had a ton of different memories, but what what is maybe your favorite memory as a student athlete here? My favorite memory might have been uh, when we beat UVA the first game of the season, uh, my 2016, my freshman year, and also heading on and playing see North Dakota State all the way down there to the state semifinals. Awesome. And I know, again, I mentioned you were a sociology um, major. What do you think, you know, in your coursework, you know, what did you take away from being a sociology major, major and applying that into some of the things that you're doing now? Uh, honestly, I can say that basically uh, dealing with God, dealing with people out in the field, uh, in the fire department is just like understanding where everybody comes from. Everybody has different different cultural statuses as well and learning how to communicate with everybody. That's one thing that the University of Richmond taught me. And, um, and that's one thing that growing up where I came from, the same thing taught me as well. Yeah. And you know, you became a firefighter in June um, after graduating a little bit in the pandemic. So what drew you to that? And I guess, how did some of your experiences as a student athlete prepare you for the mindset that you needed to um, be a fire, fire, fighter fighter? I say uh, perfectly uh, determination, just never willing to succeed, like always trying your best to succeed and never giving up on your brothers. Because at the same time, although I'm a firefighter, I'm still on a team with at least three to four people or five people daily. So therefore, we, we all go on the calls, whether or not we're on the medic or if we're on the, uh, the fire engine. As a team, we work together. And that shows me how to show up more early. I can say one thing for certain is basically uh, I get to work at, I'm not, I'm supposed to be at work at eight o'clock, but I get there an hour early. So therefore, if we catch a call, I can relieve the other crew off their shift. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Talking about, you know, brotherhood and just the sense of responsibility to help out when needed. Um, and definitely hearing that that's something that you learned here as a student athlete. What, you know, I know you're also a realtor. Um, tell us a little bit about how that's been and what you've kind of learned so far. Uh, that process has been hard, honestly, because growing up, I will say this is my first time actually trying to take the entrepreneurial mindset. Um, set. So therefore, it's a whole, it's a different ball game. So basically, I'm a rookie in the fire department. I'm also a rookie in the real estate field as well. So your first year is always your hardest year. That's what uh, many entrepreneurs um, tell me as well. So I'm trying my best to stay focused and taking my time with it. Absolutely. And being that, you know, this is a Black History Month spider spotlight, is there anything that you've learned as it relates to, um, you know, the Black community um, in real estate? So what have you tried to do to, you know, help and give opportunities to, to folks looking to be first time home buyers or just home buyers in general? Well, people, well, home buyers in general, uh, they think, well, for one, right now, rent is kind of higher than uh, paying a mortgage. So therefore, uh, a lot of people, they think that they underestimate what they can possibly afford. Does that make sense? So yeah. well, what I like to get back is uh, on my social media, I try my best to stay urban and stay, keep the urban mindset and make it, make it kind of not obvious, but make it like, hey, you can afford more than what you possibly can and getting everybody to first own their first property because that's a big step. Yeah, absolutely. And it's great work that you're doing there. I see I see a lot of your posts um, and, and thank you for, you know, for the advocacy that you're doing and raising awareness for what folks are able to do, um, even if they think they can't right now. Um, Again, I know I mentioned to you a little bit before that this month is centered around Black health and wellness as an initiative by the A10. You know, I know you graduated 
um, May 2020, so the start of the pandemic, what did you do to stay grounded? What did you do during that time to take care of yourself? Honestly, uh, one way I can, one way I seclude myself from all the stuff going around me, uh, I play a game with, play a game with a whole bunch of my former teammates, and that's one thing we normally do. I still kind of work out a lot. As far as um, I try my best, I start reading more books. So that's why I stay, that's what I did lately to stay grounded. Awesome. And I hear you talk a lot about, you know, the relationships that you had with former and, you know, former players um, that came before you and, you know, players that you were on the roster with. What has it meant to you to keep up with those relationships? Honestly, it's meant everything because some of these guys uh, most likely would be in my wedding when I have one uh, to be with some of my best men. And I'm post- most likely to be some of theirs because we talk to each other. Some guys I talk to probably every other day, if not every single day. Right. That's awesome, Zay. And what advice would you give to, you know, a current student athlete on your team? Honestly, I would say take uh, take what everybody tells you initiative. Get out there and talk to as many teachers as possible because they all want to build a relationship, a relationship as well. Talk to your student advisors and also um, never forget where you really came from because in reality, you never know who's watching. I've had that happen to me multiple times. So people think I'm thinking like nobody's watching. But in reality, I get a mail. I get a Somebody sent a message to my, my mother's um, address. I'm like, hey, thank you for playing. I appreciate you. And let her to say, even when you apply for jobs, not knowing you apply for application, you know, you never know who's behind the scenes looking at your application as well, because I also had that as well happen to me or former spiders inside Trustful County. So I'm pretty sure the University of Richmond helped me get that job as well. Thank you for that. Zay, this has been awesome. You know, I know you've had an impact here as a student athlete. Um, the time that you were here on the roster. And I know you're having an impact out in the community. So thank you so much for all that you're doing and really happy to be able to highlight you for Black History Month. Thank you. Thank you.